<coughs> Thank you for the introduction. Oh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Hyun Chol Lim, and I'm a research assistant at Human Centered Computing Lab at Seoul National University, South Korea. Today, I'm so pleased to present my work named Touch Plus Finger. Uh, this work is cooperation with uh, my advisor, Professor Bong Won So, and Professor Junan Lee, and three PhD students, Jung Min Chang, Chang Won Oh, and Su Young Park. At first, let me introduce uh, Touch Plus Finger briefly. Uh, touch Plus Finger is a new interaction technique that argument touch input with multi finger in air gestures for rich and expressive interaction. Oh, let me show you a quick video demonstrating the basic of Touch Plus Finger for better understanding. As you see in the video, the main idea of touch plus finger is to use either fingers. Oh, what I mean is that uh, when one, one primary finger is engaged in touch interaction, uh, the rest of the secondary finger are in either states. Uh, so we call them either fingers. Uh, since they are able to move, a user can use this either finger to add modality and expressiveness to the primary touch interaction. For example, uh, by making different hands pose before a touch, a user open a file by uh, tapping with a basic hands pose, or open a context menu of the file by tapping with a spread or hands pose. Also, as we saw in the video before, a user can use this either finger to make an um, expressive brushy strokes in a painting application. So, while I have introduced the basic idea of touch first finger, here I'll go through the motivation and related works. Recent study named the uh, finger aware shortcut increased the input space on the keyboard uh, by pressing the same key with the different hands pose for different shortcut commands. Our work closely with this work in that it also used the, uh, the rest of the either fingers. But our work focuses on touch based devices uh, rather than a keyboard. Also, many researches has been explored the increased input of vocabularies uh, by combining, oh, sorry, uh, by combining touch and gestures. Uh, for example, touch interaction can be enhanced by uh, leveraging additional information such as in-air gesture with the thumb over the touch screen on a smartphone, or the thumb-based touch gestures or capacitive touch sensor in a, a ring-like devices or the movement of a wrist of the, by using inertial sensor in a smartwatch. However, the best of our knowledge, we are not unaware of any existing work that enhances primary touch interactions by making full use of the desired fingers. So, our goal of this research is to explore how the rest of the either finger can be used as additional input source for uh, enhancing the primary touch interaction. To do so, we created a design space uh, covering a, vari a variety of interaction techniques with these either fingers. Uh, we aimed to uh, we aimed uh, augment existing two-dimensional touch gestures uh, by using either fingers. So, we have divided the conventional touch gestures into two categories. Uh, single touch and multi touch. In this paper, for single touch, we use the index finger as a primary finger, and uh, for multi touch, we use the thumb and the uh, index finger as a primary fingers. In this case, the secondary fingers are the thumb and or the middle plus fingers. Uh, this is middle plus finger. Uh, the middle plus finger means that the motions of the middle, the ring, and the little fingers are together. Uh, also, we touched interaction, uh, uh, we divided the touch interaction into two dimensions, uh, before touch and the during touch. Uh, before touch is the period just before the primary finger touched the screen. Uh, in this case, the secondary either finger can make a different hand pose uh, before a touch event. Uh, during touch refers to the time when the primary finger is, is, is touching the screen. 
In this period, the secondary in-air gesture with either finger enhanced the primary touch interaction. Uh, by combining these two, uh, two factors, so we created a two-by-two two design space. Uh, before single touch, before multi-touch, uh, during single touch, and during multi-touch. So uh, based on the design space, uh, we examined all possible motions of secondary finger in each subsection. Uh, now uh, let's look at before single touch gesture first. Uh, oh. uh, this is a basic uh, thing, uh, hands pose, and this is a stick hands pose, and bend hands pose. This is an air shape hands pose. This is a bend or hands pose. Uh, this is a spread or hands pose. This is all difference uh, by using the eye fingers. Uh, the six different hands pose can be made with uh, this, uh, this secondary eye finger before a touch uh, with the primary fingers. In the case of the people multi-touch gesture, users can make a limited number of hands pose due to their uh, anatomical limitations. Uh, this is a basic two, a basic plus two hands pose. This is a base, uh, this is a bend plus two hands pose. This is a middle from, middle plus fingers of bend. Uh, this is spread plus two fingers, uh, sorry, to spread plus two hands pose. So there are three distinct hands pose while performing multi-touch gestures uh, with the thumb and the index fingers. Now we look at uh, during single touch gestures. In this case, uh, let me give you a video demonstrating each in air gestures. Uh, this is tap. It's a flick gesture. It's a bending. It's swipe up. Swipe down. Bending plus. A flick plus. Bending or. Flick or. A oh, user can perform nine in-air gestures while performing single touch, uh, touch gestures such as tap and drag on the screen uh, with the index finger. Uh, lastly, uh, let's look at during the multi-touch gesture. In this case, the only secondary fingers are the uh, middle plus fingers. So there are only two in-air uh, uh, in gestures are available. The, this is flick plus two. This is a pending plus two gestures. In this case, only static multi-touch gesture can be performed while uh, performing secondary in-air gesture. This is because uh, we found that uh, it is difficult for middle plus fingers to perform in the air gestures uh, while simultaneously performing a dynamic gesture with the, with, with the primary finger. So this uh, figure shows all of the touch plus finger gesture we explored in our design space. Uh, all of these gestures are not user friendly. Uh, so we conducted a user study uh, to investigate the, uh, the easy of performing, on, uh, performing the gesture in evaluation section. Now, uh, we talk about the, uh, a touch plus finger prototype to implement uh, to touch plus finger gestures. Our prototype consists of three parts, a ring like -right device with an RME sensor attached uh, for detecting hands pose or in-air gestures. A touch based device, in this case a tablet uh, for getting uh, touch input information, and the external PC uh, for data processing and classification. Our prototype was simple, robust, and reliable enough for initial exploring uh, of touch plus finger gestures. Uh, this shows uh, our classific uh, classification models. 
uh, the calculated IMU sensor values and touch information are used for classification. Uh, we test several basic classifiers such as the uh, decision tree and SVM. And then the decision tree classifier achieved the best result in our pilot test. So uh, decision tree was applied to our uh, prototype. Uh, with this prototype, we evaluated the touch plus finger gestures. Uh, we measured two things. One thing is the recognition accuracy, and the other one is the user rating of each gesture with five point scale and a semi uh, structured interview. Uh, for data collection, we recruit eight participants. Uh, they are asked to wear our prototype and then perform 20 uh, touch plus finger 10 times or uh, 10 seconds for static and dynamic touch gesture with the primary finger. Uh, we collected 2,008 gesture samples in total for classification. Uh, this procedure is a little bit complicated, I think. Uh, detailed explanation is given in the paper. And we also asked the participants to uh, rate verbally how easy the gesture was to perform on a scale one to five. The result. Uh, for gesture classification, we conducted two validations. Uh, overall, touch plus finger gesture were classified very well with a high accuracy of over 90-90%. It means that the participants perform touch gestures in uh, almost identical manners. Next, um, participants gave both positive and negative feedback to touch plus finger gestures. For before touch gesture, they were able to make all of the hands both easily except for L shape and the bend. Uh, this, this is because the participants told that these gestures are rather uncomfortable, uh, requiring them to uh, put in more, more effort to maintaining the poses. For during touch gestures, uh, there, are significant, there are significant difference between static and dynamic gesture with a primary finger. Uh, while performing the static gestures uh, with the primary finger, uh, in this case, a tap on the screen, Participants were able to perform most in-air gesture without any problem, uh, except for bending uh, flick plus, uh, flick or, or flick plus two. Some participants told that these gestures are quite so stressful. On the other hand, while performing dynamic touch gestures with a primary finger, for example, drag on the screen, uh, participants report that most in-air gestures were very difficult. Uh, this is because secondary in-air gesture draw much attention away from the primary touching interaction. So participants uh, reported that only a few in-air gestures such as tap and swipe up and down are, are easy to perform. Uh, now uh, let me show you a video demonstrating some of examples of applying touch plus finger techniques. This is a free form line with a basic hand pose and a strict line with a stick hands pose. Uh, also a curved line with a spread or hands pose. So uh, we can fluid switch between interaction mode and a uh, drawing application. So here we talk about the discussion. 
Uh, we think that our prototype is enough for initial exploration of touch plus finger, uh, but there is still room for uh, improvement. Improvement. Uh, we believe that a ring-like device can be uh, more miniaturized so that it can be a standalone wearable ring device. Also, some participants pointed that wearing, uh, wearable, uh, wearing multi, multiple rings may be impractical. Uh, we think that this could be solved in the future by exploring alternatives such as depth camera or capacitive sensors. And we found that there is a trade-off trade between discomfort of performing secondary inhale gestures and the high, uh, high classification accuracy. Interestingly, we think that the fixed primary finger on the screen uh, may result in discomfort of performing inhale gestures, but it also restricts the possible secondary finger's movement, uh, allowing, user, uh, allowing users to perform the gesture almost identically it could have to achieve the high uh, accuracy. Uh, lastly, in the future work, it would be interesting to explore, explore potential combination of touch plus finger gesture on other devices, such as uh, small screen devices, uh, uh, VR headsets, and uh, laptop interfaces. So uh, we conclude that uh, by using either fingers as additional input source for primary touch interaction, uh, we can enhance the touch interaction in various ways we explored. Uh, thank you for the listening, and I'm happy to take your answer, uh, questions. We have time for uh, one or two questions. Hi, Dan Ashbrook, University of Copenhagen. Um, with uh, the two accelerometers, the two IMUs, can you um, ignore the angle of the hand, or do you have to always be in one hand position? Uh, <clears throat> actually, in our uh, experiment, uh, we did ignore the angle of the uh, angle of the uh, pitch and roll mm -hmm. values. Uh, this uh, this is because we just to, uh, we just conducted conducted uh, our a user study uh, in our uh, controlled, controlled lab right. environment. So, so do you think that this would work while walking? Uh, actually, we uh, our work is to focus on the exploring the gestures. Uh -huh. uh, so, I think that could be addressed in the future work. Okay. I think. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. So I have one question. Um, have you thought about, um, instead of wearing the rings on the finger that's touching the screen, like wear it on the other hand, and whether that could like improve other types of techniques? Because I could basically imagine touching the screen while scratching my head and have that like as a new interaction technique. What do you think about that? Oh, uh, I think that's a good question and interesting. <laughs> Actually, I didn't think about that, but... But you think it's possible? Yeah, yeah I think that it's possible uh, using more multiple rings, wearing in the other hands, and for more expressive interaction. Maybe I, op uh, I appreciate your comment, and in the future, I address it. Great. Let's yeah. thank our speaker one more time.